we're homeschooling the two oldest right now, and I would love ideas on how to keep a very active, demanding, can't keep him out of trouble, almost 18-month-old busy, so I can make dinner or teach a math lesson without A, huge messes, or B, lots of screaming. This comes from Vanessa, who posted this at Rachel's blog, testosterone.net. I love this question because we've all been there, and I certainly have, and it doesn't ju just happen to homeschoolers that you need to distract a toddler when you're trying to get something else done. A couple of tricks that I've used over the years are, first of all, water. And yeah, maybe that doesn't qualify as not making a mess, but it's just water. And I find that kids at that age really just love to be set up at a sink or in a tub, and they can just pour water from one cup to another and play with it in that way. And I make that a special treat so they can only do it during times when I say because I want to be getting something done. Another thing that I did once upon a time that worked great with my youngest was I put together a bin of dried beans and I put little objects inside and it was a great big storage container of these beans and that was cleaner than the water. You had to sweep up some beans afterwards. But things that are manipulative like that, I mean, you can not necessarily to manipulate your toddler, but that is essentially what you're doing. But the toddler's manipulating toys or feeling different textures. And I think that making it a special treat so that they're only doing it at a time when you say so, because you need to get something else done, is really the key here so that you can set up that special time. And then keep in mind, this is a phase. It's not going to last forever, and someday you'll be looking back on those messy water times and the bean bin, and you'll miss them.